SRS Productions presents a PH Perspective short film. Today's topic, the importance of taking classes. Hello and welcome to another edition of PH Perspectives. Today, Harvey is wondering why classes are important. So let's see what's happening with him. What's on his mind today? Really? Send you thoughts. Okay, here's my thought. I hate math class. Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Geometry. God, who's ever going to use this stuff? Yes, Harvey. Who, indeed. Totals 1287 out of 20. Oh, crud. I hit $200. Now what am I going to do? Uh, uh, I, I don't know. Um, well, the register says to give him 187. Okay. 20, 40. Well, did Harvey handle this correctly? Was the cash register right in telling him to give the customer $187? Should Harvey have listened in math class? Harvey, I think you may know why you are here today. Yeah, you're finally going to give me that raise, right? It's about time. I've been here for two weeks already. Now, how much am I going to get, girl boss? Harvey. Your register was short. That means there wasn't enough money in it to cover all of your sales. It was off by a lot. So what? Can't the company handle a few cents here and there? This is a big company. So about that raise. Well, Harvey, your drawer wasn't a few cents over. It was over $200 less than it should have been. Do you remember getting your employee handbook? Yeah, and I signed a form for it. So I'll, I'll shortchange a few customers here and there, and we'll get it back. Now lower your eyebrows about it. I'm sorry, Harvey, but I have to let you go. Thank you for your time here, and you may clock out and turn in your paper hat before you leave. This stinks. You people don't know how to treat your workers. I'm glad I'm leaving. I need your hat. So Harvey may have learned a lesson from this scene. His math skills were clearly lacking. His inability to take responsibility for his actions stemmed directly from his inability to do the job and have the skills. So let's see what it takes to be a good employee and further, a good boss. To be a good employee, a person needs to understand that they need to listen to direction. Good employees do what they're asked, and they have basic skills to perform the duties they're given. Does this sound any different from what teachers ask of students? New employees aren't usually pushed too hard like new students because they're new, but they still need to do the job and do it right to get the check. In school, your check is your grade. What does it take to be a girl boss? I'm going to tell you. Bosses get paid a lot more money than their employees, and this is because bosses have a lot more responsibility when they're, especially when they're running a business. They have to hire the right people. They have to make sure the inventory is correct. They have to keep track of money. They have to make sure that people are doing their job. They have to make sure that people show up to work. And this just touches the surface of what bosses do. Most bosses have degrees in business management. Some people even have certificates in their fields. For example, plumbers have to be certified. Mechanics need certifications. Carpenters need licenses. Chefs need culinary degrees. The list never ends. Without knowing things 
that you are supposed to learn in school, it makes it hard for you to advance and to get better at what you want to do later on in life. You're never going to get past the worker stage. It's not impossible, but it is a lot tougher. So Harvey may have learned a lesson here. When your child starts asking you why they have to take a class, just ask them, would you rather be the employee grinding out at minimum wage, or would you rather be the boss and make the real money? So until next time, stay safe.